Welcome to Boco Preps TV. I'm Josh Lindenstein. We're here at uh, the Coors Events Center today. We've got CU men's basketball coach Tad Boyle. Uh, coach is getting his team ready to go face Utah in Los Angeles, first round of the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, if, if things all go all go as planned, coach, you may not be here for uh, for the prep 4A and 5A Final Fours. You're probably hoping you'll be out in Los Angeles for sure, but uh, you were here in this building last year for the Final Fours. Uh, what kind of experience is it for, for CU? Obviously for the participants, it's a, it's a fun time, but for CU to be able to host something like this. Oh, I think it's great uh, for our institution and to get, uh, you know, not only the, the participants, but uh, also their families and, and parents and grandparents, you know, on our campus and uh, uh, certainly now to see our new facilities, our two new practice facilities, you know, a lot of people haven't seen that yet. So having uh, both the 4 and 5A uh, on our campus in our arena is, uh, is something that uh, we're very proud of and we, we don't take it lightly and we're glad that uh, we're able to host that. Two of uh, next year's incoming freshmen going to be playing, could end up playing for the championship game on Saturday, uh, Wesley Gordon from Sierra High School and Josh Scott from Lewis Palmer. Kind of a, a fun experience to get a preview of those guys maybe it's squaring great. off for a title. Yeah, and, and you know Wesley Gordon from Sierra, he's won two state championships here already when he was a freshman and a sophomore. Yeah. Uh, they didn't make it back here last year, but now as a senior, he's back. And I know Josh Scott uh, uh, is having a heck of a year, and their Lewis Palmer team has uh, been ranked very high all season long. So I know for the next four years of their lives, uh, if one of those two guys can win it, they got bragging rights yeah. that uh, <laughs> will be uh, will be fodder in the locker room. One dunks on the other one at practice. Uh, yeah, that's the one, right. The one who won might uh, still that's right. say, hey. Come back with that. Yeah, right. yeah. Absolutely. Hey, you had a little championship experience with yourself on it's this a big floor. one. It was a big championship. Nin 1981 yeah. won state title here with Greeley Central, led them to a title. Talk about what that experience meant for you then as a high school player, but also what it still means to you now. Well, I think sometimes, uh, certainly as a coach, and I think even our players, Sometimes you can take for granted where you come to work every day, the arena that you get a chance to practice in every day. And I go back when I was a high school uh, uh, young man, uh, the opportunity to play in this kind of venue was yeah. big just to begin with. And then to win the state championship, which is a dream of every kid that's uh, grown up uh, dreaming to play high school basketball, uh, to have that come true was something I'll never forget. Yeah. And, and, and I just remember carrying that state championship trophy around Coors Events Center floor and showing it off to our fans was uh, was a highlight of my my uh, basketball one of the highlights of my basketball career. Something that never crosses your mind while you're out there these days. Yeah. Not really, not yeah. unless people bring it up. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes I guess in a reflective mood, I, it's uh, it's a great memory and it's one I'll never forget. But uh, I don't think about it when I walk up. Sure, the sure, yeah. <laughs> Coach, you've uh, you've played at a high level at the high school level, played in college, coached at the high school level at Long Island High School coaching in co at, a, at a very high level in college now. Talk about the, the prep basketball and prep sports experience and what that's meant to you as, as a competitor and, and just what's what's unique about it compared to all the other experiences you've had and places you've been. You know, number one, I'm very blessed to have had the opportunities I've had both as a player and as a coach. And I think, you know, the thing it, 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 it brings home to me is the important roles that coaches can play in young men women's lives, you know, because both the boys and girls are playing here, and, and, and it's, uh, you know, it's, I played for a great high school coach, and Larry Hicks taught me a lot about the game and a lot about life, and, and uh, you know, as a coach, you want to uh, pass that on to the players that you coach, and it's, uh, you, you have uh, coaches that are here, co a lot of coaches that didn't make it here, who are, who are great influences on young people's lives, and to me, that's what high school sports are all about, and even college sports, but uh, certainly at the high school level, the numbers are much bigger, the terms of uh, participants so uh, it's a great uh, uh, great opportunity for young men and women to, to, to learn life lessons. Coach uh, thanks a lot for joining us today and thank okay. you guys for tuning in we'll be uh, back later in the week talking more Final Four basketball.